Hey friends, welcome to the Publish, Promote, Profit podcast. I'm Rob Kosberg, and every week I show you how to use a best-selling book to grow your income and your impact. And if you're interested in having your own best-selling book, I recorded a short video explaining our trademarked process at beginmybook.com. All right. Hey, welcome. Uh, Rob Cosper here for our Publish, Promote, Profit podcast. I'm really excited to uh, bring a great guest, client of Bestseller Publishing. Trudy Chere is a licensed optician with over 25 years of extensive eye care experience. Uh, I love this, Trudy. Uh, voted 2019 Most Influential Women in the Optical Industry. Very, very cool. Uh, Trudy is the co-founder of Marketing for ECPS, a digital marketing agency focused on building digital advertising for healthcare practices. Uh, Trudy is the best-selling author of The Digital Sales Rep, and we're going to talk uh, a good bit about that and about how you're using it. So, Trudy, thank you so much for uh, being on the podcast today. Today. Excited to have you with me. Excited to be here. Thank you. So talk to me about the whole idea of writing the book, you know, kind of the maybe first initial thoughts of it. And then, you know, what kind of transpired, not so much your experience with us and all that, we can get to that, but just your own kind of thinking about, you know, from the first moment of, of thinking of writing a book and then actually the, you know, the culmination of it, the cre- creation of it. Yeah, well, it's really interesting, Rob, how the whole book, even just the thought process of of this particular book came out. But, you know, a lot of it really was created because of a pandemic and how it changed sales for me. Right. And, you know, really how I had to. And I know everybody says, don't use this word, adapt and pivot, because everybody's <laughs> been using it. But... It really was what happened. And, you know, I had to take my sales to a digital virtual level quickly because I was stuck at home. Yeah. And, you know, I just really dug in and learned how, and, you know, I own a marketing agency. So it's not that I'm not digital expert as it is, but I really had to learn how to to sell and prospect from home. and, And we did really well. And I created a system that allowed me to just triple our sales during a pandemic when wow. other businesses were literally closing their doors. And I started to just jot down all the things that were working. And, you know, I'm sure you hear this from other authors. I just thought this would just make such a great book. And I wish I had the ability to teach people what's working for me right now. Right. And I started to just jot down ideas and, and I realized I had something and I just needed to figure out a way to put it into words and into something I could share with people. Wow. Okay. Well, you got our attention. Tripling sales during the pandemic will get somebody's uh, excitement levels up. And that certainly got my excitement levels up. So, (laughs) so talk to me about Talk to me about like what your pillars are of that and how that kind of transpired. And because that's what's in the digital sales rep, that's what's in your book. So talk to me about what those kind of pillars are and the transition to 3X business during while others are closing their doors. So that's very exciting. Well, I'd say probably the top pillars that I wrote the book on were number one, you know, how do you reach somebody who's now at home? They're Mm -hmm. not at their businesses. So one was just, how do you reach a target client anymore? Yeah. And the, the second pillar was probably how do I present, you know, before the pandemic, nobody was this good virtual on zoom or, you know, podcasts were really just becoming a thing. And we had to really become good at selling and presenting virtually quickly. And so that's a pillar because, you know, a lot of people can get on a Zoom meeting. It doesn't mean they're good at it. It doesn't mean they can present well or project well or sell well. And, you know, the, the third one was just, you know, really building a system so that I could do outreach every day and I tracked it and I could see what was working. I could, you know, see my outreach and I could honestly see where I needed to follow up or go back. And so I actually created this system called the 10 plus 10 sales system. And, and it's pretty 
interesting when you really start to apply it, how it can work. And it's, it's no different than sales out when you're out traditionally. The more you reach out traditionally, the more results you get. But digitally, you can reach out a hundred times more. Mm, tell me about that. Okay, so 10 plus 10. What does the outreach look like? Is this paid advertising? Is it direct direct messaging, email, combination? Like, give me some of the juicy details. Yeah, right. <laughs> give me some of the, the insights into the book, for sure. You know, well, no, none of it is paid advertising. So that should get everybody excited Ooh, right away. Are, they're more <laughs> excited now. <laughs> Well, listen, I sell paid advertising, so I, I can I can do my own paid advertising, but that wasn't, you know, what I did with this book by any means. But I used every channel that I could to my ability and, and I tried to figure out what channels I could use to prospect well. And I realized quickly that there was just a couple that worked really good for prospecting and selling and connecting and networking. And and my number one go to is LinkedIn. Um, and LinkedIn is changing, to, but it's still, you know, the top way for salespeople to really find their target client and connect and still at no charge, really, with just a couple simple steps. And then, you know, email is still highly utilized and can be utilized well. You just have to know the legalities and how to use it and how to get someone's email. And then my other two go-tos are Instagram and Facebook and and I teach people in this book that you can use these channels to literally connect to your target clients and reach out and message them. Um, when I was working with your team on the book, the one part of the book that your team loved and they told me that it was truly one of the best parts of the book was that I'm not a, a salesy sales rep. I love to get people to want to work with me because I'm such a resource. And you know, Rob, that's what I love about you, you and your company too. You guys are so reason. You give so much mm. um, to people who want to write a book that then they want to work with you. And I really do the same thing. So, you know, my target client is an optometrist or an ophthalmologist or an optician who owns their own business. And so, I have just developed all these resources to help them grow their business. And I just give them away to them. And that makes them want to not, not only work with me, but they also want to give me their information and they want to connect with me. So I yep. give them more. Yeah. And that was the biggest philosophy of this book is connect with somebody. Then don't spam them with sales messages like every other salesperson does. Just give them something that makes you look like an expert and then they want to network some more and find out more. I love it. I love it. So this isn't so much part of the podcast, but it's so funny. I have a, a group coaching program kind of within bestseller publishing. We call the accelerators group. And I was just talking today. We, we talked through three elements of, of marketing business growth, uh, proposal platform process platform is all about, Ads, cold outreach, uh, PR speaking engagements, uh, owning your own platform like a podcast, that kind of thing. And so um, I would love uh, to have you come and speak to them uh, if you'd be willing to. I'd love to, you know, 30, 45 minutes talking through and I'm going to buy your book and I'm going to send your book to all of them because, you know, I was just sharing about LinkedIn today. One of my one of our best BSP clients that just happens to be in that group. And it's a small group, just 15 or so of us. And he happens to be in that group. And I'm like, you know, Greg, if it's okay, I'll share. His was a cold outreach on LinkedIn done by virtual assistant on my account. Didn't even do a very good job, to be honest with you. Like I read it and shuddered as I was reading some of what you know, the person wrote. And then I got involved later and he became a, a fantastic client. And so, you know, that very element, which I am no expert on, you know, has uh, reaped a lot of benefits for bestseller publishing. So I, I love that your book is on that. We'll give some links so people can get a copy of your book, of course, on this podcast. But I'm going to go ahead and buy a bunch of copies and and send them out to my clients uh, Wonderful. in preparation for, uh, for you uh, speaking to them on that subject matter. Because... You know, I mean, if you don't want to spend a dollar on ads, you really don't have to with the resources we have today, right? With with Instagram and Facebook and with the ability to direct message people for free.
inquiry and email, even cold email. Any thoughts on that, by the way, like cold email, coldish type outreach there? Yeah, I literally talk about it in the book, the difference between cold outreach and what I call warm outreach, because there's a difference. And I always like to warm people up instead of just because there's a lot of people and and agencies reaching out to businesses every day on these channels. And so I want to be different. I don't want to be the same as as half of these agencies that are just reaching out and trying to sell them something right off the bat. So I'm really about building a relationship first. And to me, the easiest way is to give them something of value. Yeah. And so when I connect with somebody, I immediately give them something and it could be an ebook that is about growing their optometry practice to, you know, a bunch of downloads or anything that we've recently, you know, created. And luckily, you know, I, because I own a marketing agency, I have a lot of those resources, but I'm also creating them myself. And I teach people in the book how to easily utilize either their company resources or, you know, how to create something quickly that they don't have to be a graphic designer to right. create. Yeah. But my biggest thing about warm, you know, warm outreach, and, and I, I do teach people how to do a cold outreach as well. And just with a little bit of rapport building and a little bit of giving away in the cold outreach. And so, you know, if I'm going to reach out to somebody on LinkedIn, as an example, you know, I'm, I'm like, hey, Dr. Smith, you know, I'd love to connect and join your network or have you join my network. You know, by the way, here's a a free webinar that we just recorded on how to grow your optometry practice. Nice. And so that's my cold outreach is, yeah. you know, a little bit of, you know, something that's going to entice them to, to connect with me. Yeah. Very good. Very, very good. I, I love that. That's a really nice little addition rather than just cold, but cold with something of value that they would be interested in, uh, whether it's a short training or it could be the book. Uh, although the book might come later, uh, cause uh, obviously, I'm thinking of my clients uh, and people right. that are listeners are either those with books or those that want to have books and they're looking for ways to use their their book or, you know, maybe that's a good segue to, to talk a little bit about how you're using your book. Yeah, <laughs> well, I'm really following a lot of the philosophies that I'm trying to teach people in the book. So, you know, some of the biggest tips that I got from listening to you and listening to, you know, some of your team and some of the resources was to use the book to spin off to what I really want, which is speaking. And, yeah. um, you know, my whole goal around this was I want to train sales teams to do what I do. And that is really connect and prospect and, and sell virtually and digitally. And, you know, and, and it's not just about the connection, because once you get the connection and they book a demo, you still have to do this. And, you know, I also in the book teach them how I've created presentations that beat my competitors every day virtually. Mm. Wow. And so, you know, the biggest thing that I want to do with this book is spin it into more speaking so I can train sales teams all over North America on, you know, how they can utilize some of this to their advantage. And so the biggest thing that I did was I, as soon as the book was out in print, I ordered a hundred copies, you know, and I been giving them away to people that I want to read my book um, that may be interested in hiring me to sell, you know, sell this training to their, to their sales team. And then, you know, sending it with a little note, you know, here compliments. Thank you. Hope you enjoy it. By the way, I do have a keynote presentation that you could hire me to train your sales team. You know, I've been doing a few contests on my Instagram and website, just, you know, subscribe, you know, I'm giving away a free book this week. Um, I've also sent it to a bunch of influencers in my industry. And this has probably been, and the book just launched in February, so yeah. it's not been very long. I sent the book to 10 of my influencer friends who have big following. Some have 90,000 followers on Instagram. And I just said, hey, you know, I wanted to, to share my new book with you and I hope you enjoy it. I didn't ask for anything. I knew that some of them would take a picture of themselves and put it on their Instagram. And that's all I hope for. But almost all of them did. Wow. And I got some huge exposure from it. 
Wow, that is fantastic. I mean, your book was just launched, I mean, barely a month ago, late February, I believe it was, right? And of yeah. course, we're at the very beginning of April now. I don't know when this is going to air, but when we're recording it, uh, it's April 4th. So you just started. I love that you ordered 100 books. I mean, that's the exact strategy that we beg our clients to do. And for those listening, you know, authors, I find authors have to get over this idea of, I don't want to give my book away. I want to sell my book. And, you know, the truth be told, what you really want is you want your book in the right person's hands, no matter how you get it there. It doesn't matter how you get it there. Uh, if they pay 15, 20 bucks for it, great. And, and many, many will. But if you can get it in that right person's hands and you show your expertise in that book, then you've, like, you've done the work. Uh, you're right. gonna, you're gonna, like, you've already obviously begun to reap the rewards. Anything from the speaking stuff yet? How many of those have you sent? And like, what's your, is there a system that you have in place for that? I'd love to hear that. Well, I, you know, as soon as I finished the book, I really started to sit down and talk, think through all the different ways that I could promote it, that I could use it to spin into speaking. And, you know, the biggest, well, the most exciting thing that happened was last week when I talked to a speakers bureau and I've sent them some of the books so that they can start giving it out to their clients. So I, you know, and then I'm recording a video for them nice. to house on their website and they're going to start promoting me. You know, I don't think everybody has to go with the speakers bureau, but I'm going to do both the speakers yeah. bureau and go out and, and prospect on my own and get, um, get leads. And I'm going to do what I do in the book to get my own leads for speaking. But I know you're right is, you know, when the book launched on Amazon, listen, I, I think a lot of, of authors probably, you know, get so excited and they're waiting for all these sales to come in and you guys do a great job of getting us bestseller. And, you know, we're all just getting as many people as we can to, download the book and then also give us reviews. But it was never in the back of my head that I'm going to get, you know, rich by having a book on Amazon. Right. I think it's what you do with it. And, you know, the whole idea is what can I do with this book now? And so I know that if I can get someone to read this book, if I can get it into their hands, the biggest opportunity I have is they're going to realize that those tips in there are perfect for their sales team. Hmm. So I've done it already where I've sent out 10 books to the VP of sales at really big organizations, and they're already ordering books for their sales team. No kidding. And, that is fantastic. And, and then I'm following up and I'm trying to get them to realize, we'll take this to the next level and bring me in to speak or hire me to virtually speak to your teams. Yeah, And that's what my goal is. But it is about getting it into the hands of the right people to then have them read it and follow up and, you know, sell them on the idea of what you want them to do with it. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. I, I You are such an action taker. Uh, I love that. Again, it's been barely a month and you already have uh, VPs of large companies that are that they have not only do they have your book, but they're already ordering copies. There is no doubt. As you continue that strategy, may not be the first 10, right? But as you continue that strategy that you're going to get massive book orders and you're going to get, you're going to get keynotes and, and breakouts and individual workshops and all the things that you want. You know, I have seen people, Amy Dix is a, obviously a, a good friend and, and, uh, she's become a partner in a, in a new venture that we're doing, but I've seen Amy go from never having spoken for a fee before to having 97 speaking engagements where she was paid between five and $12,000 by simply systematically reaching out, building relationships with event planners, sending copies of her books, sending videos. And then there was such a flood of opportunity. She kept raising her fees to the point where, you know, I mean, when there's, you know, when there's scarcity, right, supply and demand, and there's only you, well, the price goes up because the demand has gone up. So that's certainly going to happen for you as much as you want it to, right? You know, as much as you want to travel and do those types of things. Well, and the other thing, too, that I think is really going to help the book is I built a website. 
around the book. So yep. the digital sales rep dot com. Yep. I also started an Instagram channel, the digital sales rep dot com. So my goal is to build the expertise of the book digitally. And of course, that's what I do. You know, as far as LinkedIn, I have 9,000 followers. So I've been systematically reaching out to the right ones on LinkedIn and just telling them and asking them if they'd like a copy of the book. Yeah. And it's working. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's definitely a little bit of pounding the pavement sure. to get where you want to go. And I haven't done everything that I, I want to do yet, of course. You but haven't done everything in a month? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm getting there. <laughs> but no, it's, it, it is exciting to really see where you can take this. Yeah. And, you know, I've even been back on to bestseller publishing when, when I first started. You guys give us this great portal that has all these resources in it. And I'm now going back in there and starting to literally – you know, take some of those ideas and, and start implementing them. Oh, yeah. The the simple speaking engagement thing is really just that simple, but a great, like, systematic way for you to get as much of of the speaking as, as you can stomach. Uh, I don't like to travel all that much. So, but speaking these days is just like this, right? I mean, it's virtual. It's something that can be done from anywhere. We have clients that are doing $5,000 keynotes without leaving their you know, their home studio. So there's no question that you can't do the same. And trade shows and conferences are starting up again. Yep. You know, but that's not necessarily where I'm going to focus. I think my biggest opportunity is companies that have national sales meetings for their companies and, and are training their sales team to, you know, get out and go make sales for the coming year. Yeah. Those are probably more of what I'm going to go after, but I'm not going to say no to a conference. I think there's a ton of different ways that you can take this book and do something. And, you know, one-on-one -on -one consulting is obviously another way you can consult with some leads of big organizations. There's just so many opportunities when it comes to yeah. what you can do. The biggest thing the book has done for me is given me that expertise and authority to say I'm here it is. Here's my bestseller book with everything that I can teach you or I can teach a team. Yeah. And it's pretty hard to, you know, have not have that register with them that that I've got a bestseller book. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Especially since we're all in competition. You know, you want to speak. There's a hundred others that want to speak on that stage. And so, you know, you raise your credibility and authority above you head and shoulders above the competition by being a best-selling author on the topic. So congratulations on doing that. It's funny because one of your team, Bob, um, he said to me, well, he's like, not that you didn't choose the hardest category out there, business and sales. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, but he's like, he was, you know, really impressed with how well it has done even yeah. on Amazon and continues to do. Yeah. You know, so it's still continuing to rank really well in those categories, um, yeah. which is hopefully a testament to this is what people need right now is training on digital and virtual sales and presentations. And I think, you know, as everybody probably thinks the same way is the world's not going to go back to completely normal. Yeah. Um, even as salespeople do get out back out and start doing some traditional sales where they're pounding on doors and cold calling and and going to trade shows and standing at trade show booths, they have to and should still be using the power of digital and virtual along with traditional. Yeah, 100%. Book yourself out, right? I love it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe we could uh, change gears for just a moment. You were kind enough to mention uh, about your experience with uh, with BSP and uh, even asked me to ask you, which thank you for, <laughs> for doing it because I wouldn't normally do that on a podcast, but but maybe, you know, you could share whatever you feel like uh, about your experience with the creation of the book. I, I'd love to hear all of that and, uh, you know, maybe whatever you would say to somebody that, you know, is debating whether or not to invest in 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 creating a book, uh, invest in a company like mine or my company, uh, you know, what would you say to that person that's kind of debating that? 
probably the lead into me working with your company was I knew I, I had something, you know, I, I had experienced such great sales revenue and growth. And I, I knew I had a system that could really change you know, how someone can reach out to their target clients and literally close them online. And it was working for me. And and I knew that I wanted to put it into either a training. I actually originally started by looking at online training courses and seeing if I could build a course and then start to drive people to it. And then I watched one of your webinars. And, you know, it was one where you literally talk what your book is and how you help, you know, authors who really want to get their words out. And the thing I loved about it was that you literally take our hand and you give us a schedule and you keep us on track and you drive us to finish the book. But then that's not where it stops. And you get it on Amazon. I didn't want to do any of that. And (laughs) you You help get it to bestseller and you promote it. Um, But I'd love to chat briefly about the actual writing process because that was just so wonderful. You know, so by the time I finally listened to your presentation, reached out to your team, you know, had some meetings and decided, yep, I'm going to do it. Your team just took over. And, you know, first off, was dealing with Matt and he was just funny and so easy to have meetings with. And he helped me come up with even just the initial table of contents and what you need to just get started. And there's a way that you guys do it that really makes it easy. It makes it easy to figure out what's in here and help start gutting it out. But I think the best process was when I actually started writing and I started working with one of your coaches and met with them every single week. And just, you know, they helped me, first and foremost, really build great chapters and the way that you guys help us start a chapter with stories to, you know, bringing in personal antidotes and tying it to a lesson. It was just It made really writing a great book easy. And I love the fact that they also, you know, gave suggestions and told me where it didn't make sense and where I should rewrite it. And I loved the, you know, the critiquing that made it a great book uh, that I don't think I ever could have done on my own. And I loved to the accountability Um, because, you know, is if you it's like an exercise program. If you try to start yourself, yeah. you always fall off. And and so this was like my book exercise program. And and literally somebody kept me on track. And I wrote the book in six months, which they even said was very good. Yeah. Um, they told me I was an A student because I literally decided I was gonna do it. And it was COVID, so it wasn't hard because you're stuck at home anyway. So but I wrote every single weekend and I finished the book in six months. And Woo-hoo. then you guys and you guys took over and you did the rest, which again, you designed it, you proofed it, you made it look better, sound better, you got it on Amazon, you know, you got it into print version. Um, I'm about to launch the audio, which I'm really excited about, which you've helped me with as well. And I didn't have to do a lot of the heavy lifting except write it. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Thank you. Thank you for those words. You know, it's, it's interesting. Not many people talk about the accountability part, but, you know, I mean, you, you may have heard me talk about this and if you're in some of the BSPU calls, but I mean, I hired my company to do my next book. You know, like I, I, I'm not just the president of the hair club for men. I'm, I'm a, I'm a client, you know, using that, uh, probably a bunch of people are like, what is he talking about? You know, that, that old commercial. But, you know, I mean, I, I need the accountability. I meet with Matt every single week, just like you have. Um, I'm, I'm doing my next book, which is on book funnels. And, um, you know, I, quite honestly, I need it as well. The exact 
same process that our clients go through, I go through in the creation of my books just because it works and it works fast. I mean, I'm going to be done with my book and um, on chapter five and I'm planning for it to be like 13 chapters. So I have like two more months left and then it goes into its, you know, two rounds of editing, two rounds of proofreading, design, all that stuff. And, you know, I'm like, OK, let's go. Right. right. No, I found the process was really well thought out. And, you know, when you first start, you're kind of overwhelmed with, is it really going to take that long? Yeah. But it does. It like does. to do it, to do it well takes that amount of time. Yeah. And it takes commitment and it takes you kind of hitting those deadlines too. So you're right. And yeah. that's honestly what I kind of liked about your team is they do set timelines and deadlines and you're like, okay. Yeah. I'm going to write a book. <laughs> yes, you are. And you did. And I can't wait to get it into the hands of our uh, of our coaching group. And so uh, let's, uh, Trudy, thank you. Thank you for what you shared. And thank you for, you know, uh, going well, through the steps I would, to create this book. I would tell anybody, if you're on the fence and you're thinking about writing a book and you're worried about the commitment as far as financial, don't. Because I know it's going to come back to me. I saved time by hiring you guys when my and I own a business so you know my my time is money yeah. and I related it to that is you guys are going to help me get this book launched and written and you're going to take care of it and I'm not going to have to do that and to me that was worth the money and now too I have you know a bit of a path that you guys have helped create yeah. on how I'm also going to take it and turn it into speaking. Love it. And you absolutely will. And you're going to kill it with that. So congratulations. You know, I can't wait to hear. Maybe we'll have you back on a second one after some of the speaking engagements start to flow in. And and uh, and I'm sure you'll adapt and try some new things that, you know, uh, we'll be able to learn from. So thank you again. Thanks for being on the podcast. Um, give give us some links. Where can people learn more? Where can they get a copy of the book, et cetera? Well, I'm on Amazon and I want to say Amazon.ca and .com because I'm Canadian, but I'm North American with my company as well. But um, so Amazon.ca and I guess Amazon. Well, no, because I became a bestseller in eight countries. You did. And yeah. so that was pretty exciting. So I, I guess Amazon everywhere. <laughs> yes, that's right. And um, yes, it's. I kept it really reasonable as far as price. So it's like four ninety nine for the digital and nineteen ninety five for uh, the print copy. So it's a no brainer. It's yeah. going to triple your sales. Obviously, as I mentioned earlier, I do have a website, the digital sales rep dot com, and I'm on Instagram, and that's the digital sales rep, and LinkedIn. You can find me at Trudy Sheree. Love it. Love it. And Sheree is spelled C-H-A-R-E-S-T. So Thank you. Yes, it's pleasure. French. <laughs> yes, French. Trudy, thank you. Thanks for being on. Great to have you on the podcast. Congrats on, you know, getting the book done quickly and already the success you're experiencing with it. And, uh, you know, stay on for a few minutes in just a second and we'll, we'll talk about uh, me getting your books and uh, and having you speak for my group. So thank you again for being here. Thank you so much, Rob. Hey, thanks for listening in on the Publish, Promote, Profit podcast. If you enjoyed it, please take a minute and like and subscribe to the podcast because every week I bring you either great guests or great teaching to help you to grow your income and your impact with a best-selling book. And if you're interested in having your own best-selling book, check out my short video which explains our trademark process at beginmybook.com.